Hi guys, I'm, I'm back with some more international animation news. And this time, as you may be able to tell, I am going to talk about Asterix and Obelix. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that you guys already are had some experience with these characters, either with reading their comic books, or watching the live-action movies, or even, and this is a real recommendation, watching the animation movies, because they're really good. As you can tell, this is one of the animation, previous animation movies. Um, sadly, only Franz got these movies released on Blu-ray, but that's a completely different story. Um, but yes, like I said, I really recommend you watching them. Now, a studio has decided that they want to make a new Asterix and Obelix animation movie, but this time not traditionally animated, but they want to go for CGI and 3D. So it is going to be animation movie, not live action, but not in the way that we're used to. This is going to be CGI and 3D. Now, when they make a new Asterix and Obelix story, they always base their movie on one of the comics, and then they make the movie. Now, um, the comic that they are going to base um, this new movie on is called, well, the original title is in French, and it's called Le Domaine des Dieux, and the English translated it into The Mansions of the Gods. Now, the movie is not going to be called The Mansions of the Gods, but it's going to be called Asterix, The Land of the Gods. <coughs> Excuse me. And like I said, this is based on a comic book, and this story is based on the 17th volume of the Asterix comic book series by René Cassini, a Frenchman, obviously. And, um... <coughs> You know, the studio that originally started this project is called MechGov, but the studio wasn't doing so good, and it was bought by Illumination Entertainment. You know, these guys from Despicable Me, uh, The Lorax, Despicable Me 2, and The Future, you know, their future movie. Um, but they bought the studio, but not the project. The project, Asterix and Obelix, um, The Land of the Gods, was bought by Micros Image. And it's a, you know, it's a French studio, which shouldn't, shouldn't surprise us. Um, but their core business is making visual effects for animation movies or commercials. But they never made animation movies before. Now, you know, they, they want it to expand their core business and they want to start making animation movies and well they have to start somewhere and they decided that Asterix and Obelix the land of the gods is going to be their first project now um, that might worry you it worried me because obviously they're not experienced in this at all um, but the director of Asterix and the land of gods is a very professional um, person because he was a former Pixar animator and you know that is good news I do realize that being a Pixar animator and a Pixar director is something completely different but I'm pretty sure that he you know he got some insight in the magic of Pixar that he had some experience there so I think that the standards might be, you know, pretty high, you know, at least we do not have to expect that this is going to be an awful movie. Um, now, um, I have some pictures for you. Um, there is one picture that is, you know, the finishing touch of Obelix and CGI and everything you want, but the... The first pictures that I'm going to show you are marketing pictures. Now, uh, what's the difference? Well, marketing pictures are, you know, pictures that they make to attract investors so they can actually start making this um, movie. So the, you know, the design and stuff isn't always completely finished, uh, but it might give you an indication of how this movie is going to look like. 
Now, first of all, we have a picture of Obelix. And as you can tell, th these are not sharp photos. Um, because, you know, they're pictures of a presentation. So they're not really clear, but they give you an indication of how the movie is going to look like. And you'll see, because I have a finished picture of Obelix and CGI, you'll see that there is there are a few differences, but, you know, this is the general idea of the movie. And it doesn't look bad, to be honest, in my opinion, at least. Here you have Obelix and Asterix. You know, it's something completely different than we're used to with the traditional animation, which I loved. Um, but yeah, this might be a success, you know. There's also an early picture of Asterix. Again, I'll leave the links to these pictures so you can watch them yourself in a more, you know, in a better quality in the description bar below. And then um, the picture that is mostly finished, you know, that would give you a real indication of how it is going to look, is this one. Again, this looks better on your computer screen if you watch it directly and not with my camera, so... When you can expect this movie? Well, you can expect it in 2014. Well, the precise um, date there is not, so... Um, but yeah, it's a little bit early because in September they are going to start really, you know, really start with this movie. Um, this is all pre-production stuff. Now, um, for you guys who are interested in what is the story about, uh, the story is about, you know, Julius Caesar trying to conquer the Gauls, Asterix and Obelix and their entire village. They just do not want to be Romans, you know, they just want to be themselves. As, but you'll probably know this if you know these characters. Now, Julius Caesar has tried with brute force to overcome these guys, but they have a potion that makes them super, super strong. So, you know, Caesar, Julius Caesar, you know, realized that he can't conquer them with brute force. It's just not possible. So, he tries to be his diplomatic self. And he wants to be, you know, he wants to have a plan to conquer the village of the Gauls anyway, but then without having to fight them. And what he's gonna do and you can read this on the back of the comic uh, book, so, you know, I'm not going to spoil the story for you, but so you have a little indication of what this is going to be like. So he built a city, a new Rome, so to speak, around the village of the Gauls, and he calls that, you know, city the land of the gods. And he tries, you know, he thinks like, if I'm gonna build a freaking city around their village and people are going to, you know, real good Romans are going to live there, the goals have to adapt to our lifestyle. And in a way, that's how he is going to conquer them. At least that's what Julius Caesar thinks. But, as you can tell, Obelix and Asterix are not going to leave it with that. And that's what this story is about. So, I'm, you know, I'm pretty excited about this. I always love the animation movies of Asterix and Obelix. And I think they're going to do a pretty good job. It's going to ask some, you know, I'm going to have to adapt to the new animation style. Um, but I do want to give them a chance. So... What do you think of previous Asterix and Obelix movies? And far more important, what do you think of this new animation style? Um, just leave some comments below. And as I told you before, you can find these pictures, the links to the pictures in the description bar. See ya!